In this video, we will learn about the relationship of NP to other complexity classes and discuss one of the most famous problems in science, the P versus NP problem. The class NP contains many problems, for example, minimum vertex cover, maximum independent set, maximum clique, Sudoku, graph isomorphism, Super Mario, and protein folding, needed to cure cancer. These are all examples of problems in NP, but there are millions more. Even though these problems are all in NP, they seem vastly different. But suppose for a second that there exists a single all-star problem, such that an efficient algorithm for the all-star problem allows us to solve any problem in NP efficiently. Such an all-star algorithm lets us cure cancer and win Super Mario at the same time. It seems pretty hard to believe that a single problem could do this. Even more surprisingly, it turns out that there is not just one all-star problem, but a whole class of problems that can all solve all problems in NP. This class of problems is called NP-hard. Given an efficient algorithm for any NP-hard problem, we can solve every problem in NP efficiently. Therefore, every NP-hard problem is at least as difficult as all problems in NP. Some of these NP-hard problems are in NP themselves. Problems that are both NP-hard and in NP are called NP-complete. We know that both P and NP-complete are subsets of NP. However, it is unknown whether the problems in NP are also a subset of P. After all, just because we have not found polynomial time algorithms for all problems in NP does not mean no such algorithms exist. If NP were to be a subset of P, then the complexity classes P, NP, and NP-complete would equal one another. The question, is P equals NP, is one of the most famous problems in science. It is among the seven millennium prize problems proposed by the Clay Mathematics Institute, which offers a prize of 1 million US dollars for the first person to solve the problem. Even though we do not have proof, most people believe that P does not equal NP. Recently, there has been a lot of interest in quantum computation. Will quantum computers allow us to solve difficult problems efficiently? The complexity class BQP contains all decision problems that a quantum computer can solve in polynomial time. The term BQP stands for bounded error quantum polynomial time. Similar to P versus NP, we also do not know the exact relationship between BQP and NP. All problems in P are also in BQP, because if a problem is solvable on a regular computer in polynomial time, then we can also solve it on a quantum computer in polynomial time. There are also problems that quantum computers can solve efficiently, but a regular computer can only verify a solution efficiently. The discrete logarithm problem is an example. The four-relation problem is in BQP, but not in NP. But we don't know if all problems in NP are also in BQP. Each of the complexity classes we can see in this hierarchy contains many problems. You will learn about those shown here in other videos. Thanks for watching this video.